today we will see regarding one common clinical situation that many of the resident or dialysis technician might handle which is shown over the monitor is nothing but intradialytic hypotension low bp during dialysis not only for the patient even for the people who are working in the dialysis unit it became a very distress stressful situation patient we might go unconscious also so we will see few common clinical information which is required so first what is intradialytic hypotension hypo that is low bp from the starting of the dialysis that is at the time of starting the dialysis if the bp is 140 systolic bp i am saying after the dialysis being started and dialysis ongoing if the value reduced by more than 20 mm of mercury that is if bp came from 140 to 120 theoretically that is called as intradialytic hypotension there are various definition not only the absolute values many a times they say patient should develop symptoms there is no standard definition but for the understanding you can take during dialysis if the bp falls more than 20 mm of mercury that is intradialytic hypotension in a center if 10 to 20 dialysis are occurring per day it is not uncommon to see more than 2 3 patient develop this condition so what are all the common causes causes can be divided into three categories one related to the patient volume what is that volume nothing but amount of water removed during the dialysis that is the most common cause in most of the dialysis center the second related to the cardiac causes third could be something which causes excessive vasodilation so broadly three coming to the first one which is volume related in a patient if ultra filtrate in the machine in the monitor it will come how much water to be removed if it is put excessively for example if the patient gained only 2 liter of water but in the machine if we have given the setting to remove 3 liter obviously bp will go down so that is the most common cause but why this occur even though the patient might tell sir i gained only 3 kg but he might have gained a protein also water might be 2 kg gain only so that is the most common cause and another one is putting excessive weight uh, gain to remove that excessive ultra filtrate for example some patient might delay the dialysis and they come after 6 days and say sir i have gained 6 liter i want to remove 6 liter so if in 4 hours if 6 liter is removed obviously patient will go into hypotension so this is the another important cause which is volume related the third one is also again volume related the patient might be having enough urine output in the dialysis center in case if dialysis technologist is starting the dialysis they might not ask how is the urine output they will directly put the patient on ultra filtrate of 2 liter which is the ground reality many a times they won't check they will just put the patient on ultra filtrate of 2 liter or 1.5 liter even the patient urine output is way too good again patient will go into hypotension these are the three most common causes of hypotension excessive ultra filtrate the patient is not gaining that much water but removing that much water that one and how to overcome that so that we will see probably in uh, another discussion so this volume related i have told the second one is the cardiac related sudden causes any of the sudden causes like pericardial effusion mi whatever it is even in a non dialytic patient whichever cardiac condition can cause hypotension that can occur in dialysis patient also and especially during dialysis arrhythmia can happen that also somewhat uh, common or we can say it is not uncommon and another thing that we see common clinically is food intake during dialysis a patient taking food during dialysis so breakfast karra hoga that also causes sometimes vasodilation patient might go into hypotension another subtle technical related factor your technology should be aware is the temperature if the dialysis temperature is way too high which usually won't occur because this machine sets the temperature to a particular level in case if there is a software issue or whatever reason the temperature is set at a higher level the patient will develop vasodilation the patient will go into hypotension another one regarding the vasodilation is the drugs 
the patient might have ha- have the hypertensive medication all at once for example a patient is on three anti hypertensive medication before starting dialysis tino exat le liya hoga so that might lead to hypotension so these are the three common situation related to the non volume related factors so in summary what is intra dialytic hypotension name itself says during dialysis bp became slow theoretically you can remember 20 mm of mercury ka difference and some people say bp have to fall less than 90 that also you can take into consideration what are the symptom patient might become giddy cramps might occur pulse might go high the three causes in summary volume related cardiac related vasodilation related vasodilation related food temperature and drugs that's all okay thank you